In the last round of matches before the league takes a break for the upcoming Tiger Beer Cup or the Tiger Cup in about a week's time. Welcome to the Torfayo Stadium, home of the Ballester Central Football Club Tigers. This is the match coming to you live on Premier 12 and they are playing tonight the table toppers, the SAF Warriors. The match is about to begin with the SAF in the All Blue Strip who will kick off the match. We are looking at one of the league's top joint scorers, Goran Paulic of the Tigers. And he's topping the scorer's charts at the moment together with Yuri Erej. And the referee has just kicked the match off. With the SAF wanting to get a win tonight to re-establish or reaffirm their position as the best team in the Pioneer Series. Of course, Ballester will be wanting to pull off a win as well because that will bring them just a point behind the SAF but at the moment they trail the SAF by four points. Ballester back to full strength after losing out uh, in terms of uh, their five regular first teamers in the last match who were out through suspension, yellow cards and, and red card suspensions and they're all back but the SAF still missing of course Goran Grubasic who is not named even as a substitute. This is the Ballester central lineup and the tussle tonight will be focused on the two top scorers undoubtedly, Goran Palic wearing the number nine for Ballester Central. So far things are very even with both teams feeling themselves out. And this is the SAF lineup. And like I mentioned, missing still Goran Grubasic who is so strong in the middle of defense, but they haven't been doing too badly without him in the last couple of games. It's the first foul committed by a Ballester player, so it's going to be a free kick for the SAF. And time to bring in my co-commentator, Jamie Reeves. Well, it certainly looks well set for a good game this evening. The pitch is in great condition. There's a little bit of wet on it after a shower. That should give it a little bit more pace. There's a good crowd in, and uh, Ballester must win this evening to retain any chance of winning the title. This is Abdul Wafi with the early cross, which goes astray. So it's uh, the first goal kick of the match to the SAF. Coach Robin Chan of the Tigers, preferring A. Sivakuma over Azaludin Kamis. Sivakuma, who is a defender, Azaludin a midfielder, an attacking midfielder. So obviously, Coach Robin Chan wanting to strengthen the defense of the Tigers against a very formidable attack force of the SAF Warriors. The last time these two teams met in the Tiger Beer Series, the first match played on the 18th of May ended in a scoreless draw at the Jerome Stadium. As we see Abdul Wafi trying to make uh, a run, but the pitch, which is a bit slippery from the earlier rain that we had, is going to cause undoubtedly a few problems tonight. But uh, just to carry on on what I was saying, the second match played on the 28th of May at, the, at this stadium ended up in a 4-2 away victory for the SAF as the crowd try to cheer the teams on. We've got some good atmosphere in the stadium. We've said that many times in uh, several matches and uh, we've ended up having or seeing poor games being played. Hopefully that will not happen tonight. Manab Hamad, who's back, one of the five who missed out in the last match against Tiong Baru. That was a 3-0 loss at the Queenstown Stadium on Tuesday, four nights ago. So obviously Ballester back to full strength. The SAF also at full strength, with the exception of the missing Grubasic. This is Velima Kryan. Stephen Chan back to Kryan. Kryan making a good run. He loves to make those solo runs, and he's brought down by Siva Kuma and Abdul Wafi. Sandwiched between the two Ballester players, so it's going to be a free kick to the Warriors. You're looking at Veli McCrine, who has just been fouled. He's taken the free kick very quickly to Ivica Ragus. Ragus, who's going to be doing a lot of running, very much involved in, uh, in every game he plays, always wanting the ball. Still Ragus down the right flank. Crossing, and Abdul Malek, not very sure with his touch. Nathaniel Napla clearing the ball, but Abdul Malek being fouled in the process. Yuri Arej and Selvaraj now helping him up, or wanting to help him up. 
and the referee decides it's a free kick for Ballastier. Normally on these occasions I tend to favour the forward, but I think even on this on this occasion I'll have to go with Abdul Malik. Uh, clearly he jumped at uh, um, Abdul Malik, and uh, I think the referee got that one right. Manapamak with the long ball, searching out Esad Sedic. Sedic with a header on towards Kolyevich, but it's just uh, a little too short for him. Or too far ahead, I should say. Sedic now heading it on towards Polic. Brian, good control from him. Erez unable to control. Brian gives chase, and Abdul Malik will have to clear, which he does into touch for the throw into the SAF. Very noticeable even at this early stage that the SAF have a nice easy rhythm and a pattern to their play. They just uh, The game starts off and uh, everyone seems to know where they'll be. They seem to know their jobs and they, they look a very well coached, well disciplined side. Regardless of what happens in this match, even if the SAF lose tonight, they will still end up as table toppers until the league resumes on the 17th of September. Well, that's a good run. Imran Mohammed with the shot, which goes over the crossbar for the goal kick. It was a good through ball played in by Ryan and Imran Mohammed making a good run, just getting his foot under the ball and the ball going over for the goal kick. So it's Manap Hamad then with the goal kick for Ballester. As we look at Imran Mohammed, who's just missed that shot a while ago. It's a free kick now to Ballester. And certainly the way things have gone in the first six minutes or so, it's certainly an even game, so far at least. I would think this sort of situation probably creates the best opportunity for Ballester. They may have an aerial advantage over SAF and really ought to exploit it. Sedic heading the ball on for Kolyevic, but it's offside. Leans the linesman, the referee tonight, Mr. N. Santan, and he's assisted down the lines by Mr. Salikin Sarkawi and Mr. K. Manaharan. The reserve referee is Mr. Leibentek, as we take a look at Isdad Sedic, who has scored two goals in the current Pioneer Series campaign. Those goals coming in the match against Woodlands and in the matches against Woodlands and Tiong Bahru. Both of them played here at this stadium. This is Abdul Wafi crossing in towards Sedic. Sedic will, well, I think Polic was expecting Sedic to head it down for him. And the nod of the head perhaps indicates that. But Sedic going for the attempt at goal instead, and it's come to nothing with a goal kick to the Warriors. We saw again there the, uh, the Ballester attack tends to favour pumping long balls into the box. They've got the three big lads, the Croatians up front. Uh, Sedic probably should have gone back across goal there. Uh, but certainly Goran Pavlic will be the, the biggest danger in the air. Manab Hamad winning the header, but unfairly pushing Erej in the process. So it's a free kick to the LCF Warriors, which will be taken by Vika Ragus. Both these teams being coached by locals. Robin Chan, of course, for Ballester and Vincent Subramaniam for the SAF. And both win very well first and third respectively at the moment in the Pioneer Series and of course in the Tiger Beer Series they finished third and fourth respectively Ballester and then the SAF in the Tiger Beer Series Ragus trying to get the ball through to Yuri Eres he's cut off by Siva Kuma Zulkipni Karayoho with the Azali Nasiran rather with the long ball forward picked up nicely now by Richard Bock Richard Bock to Vela McCryan, Cryan down the line for Salvaraj, who's watched very closely by Nathaniel Napla. And Salvaraj has been pulled up now for the challenge from behind on Napla. So it's going to be a free kick once again for Ballester. Looks like Ballester are playing man for man at the back there. Napla will mark Salvaraj and Manap Hamak will mark uh, Ere Yuresh. Kolyevic with some magic down the right side for Ballester. Held onto the ball just a little too long and he's dispossessed finally by the skipper of the SDF side. Hairi Swap, Hairi who's doing a good job as a sweeper at the back for the SAF and certainly fancies his chances of a call up to the national squad eventually. Of course this man does an excellent job for Ballester each time he plays, Lutvo Bogutanin, who also missed the last match against Tiong Bahru four nights ago. 
Bryan. He's got Abdul Wafi in front of him to get past first. Plays a good ball down the line now. And the cross, a poor one, cleared away by Hazali Nasiron, but unfortunately straight to an SAF player, Stephen Chan. And finally the ball with Abdul Malik in goal for Ballastia. So the team still trying to find their feet on a very wet and slippery surface. But that might add to the excitement with some mistakes being made, especially as the game wears on. Abdul Malik to or towards Goran Paulic. This is Paulic now in possession for Ballastia. Zulkifli Karayoho. Zulkifli has Azali Nasiron right down on the left, but he uses Manap Hamat instead. Manap towards Sivakuma, who's made a good run. And unfortunately, Sivakuma taking the shot at goal, but getting under the ball once again, and the ball going over. Perhaps the ball just took a, a bit of an unkind bobble as he took the shot. We're looking at the uh, Alistair bench with Andrew Yap, extreme left, Robin Chan, and Mr. Tan Kim Hwat, one of the uh, team managers, the other manager being Mr. S. Thanavesan. Thanavesan, a big about. Harry Swap then with the goal kick for the SAF. Nathaniel Natla with the clearance. Abdul Wafi will try to keep this ball in. And he does well, but he only gets it as far as Richard Bock. Stephen Chan out to Vika Ragus, now in possession. Being brought down by Sivakuma, and Sivakuma is going to get a talking to at least from the referee, Mr. Santan. Well, he walks away, Sivakuma, but he's being called to the referee once again. And I don't think it's going to be a booking, just a, a talking to first time around. But he's got to be careful now, because he's obviously attracted the referee's unkind attention. Ragus then with the free kick down to Imran Mohammed. Imran has Azali Nasiron to get past. Plays the ball back to Ragus. Ragus making himself available once again. Again is Siva Puma who confronts Ragus. Ragus with the cross towards Yuri Aresh, cut out nicely by Manab Hamad. And finally Manab once again with another clearance, but it goes to Zukifli Jumadi. Savaraj now. And ball, was it? It's a free kick to Ballastia. Quickly taken by Nathaniel Natla to Abdul Wafi. Abdul Wafi who has improved tremendously as the league has worn on. Sivakuma to Kolevich. Things very tight in midfield at the moment. Players not being given time on the ball. This is Vela McRyan now for the SAF. Still crying. Finally, he passes the ball to Ivica Ragus. Ragus in one of his uh, forward runs, but he's been cut off nicely by Siva Kuma. And this is Abdul Wafi now searching out Isad Sedic. Just a little too hard and long. Sedic unable to control the ball. And he's certainly not a player who will chase after a loose ball, Isad Sedic. Likes the ball played accurately to him. Bella McRyan. For the SAF, gets past two players. And finally, it's Nathaniel Napla to come away for Ballester. Ballester have four players forward. This is Abdul Wafi now in possession. Kolyevic. Good turn from Kolyevic. He's got to get past it. Richard Bach. And finally, the cross. Which reminds me, Deans went uh, out after Fendi Sub to touch. The, uh, or handle the ball, so it's going to be a corner to Ballester. Yes, yeah, a little bit more thoughtful the Ballester build up there. A nice ball into the box by Kralievich. And they're fairly young, some of the defenders for SAF, and uh, a player of Kralievich's experience may be able to expose them a little there. So it's Abdul Wafi then with the corner for the Tigers. Well, it's a poor corner because it didn't reach any of his uh, teammates. This is Yuri Eresh coming to help out in defence, playing the ball nicely back to Richard Bock. Richard Bock with a poor clearance, only as far as Litvo Boguchanin. Boguchanin to Abdul Wafi to Kralievich. Kralievich, as usual, very much involved in the early proceedings. 
Stephen Chan with the uh, dispossession job. Silver Raj. Still Silver Raj for the SAF. He's got to release the ball now. Finally he does to Ivica Ragus. Played the ball a bit short and Ragus had to make some ground to get to it. Gurieres. Ragus once again. That's a good ball towards Selvaraj. Selvaraj unable to control it. The ball was just uh, bouncing a little too high for him. And control just a little difficult in these conditions. Finally, it's a poor ball out of defence, so it's going to be a throw into the SAF once again. Scoreless at the Topayo Stadium between Ballester Central and SAF. We've had 15 minutes of the game gone by. With a throw in from Davo Mioch to Harry Swap. This is Mioch once again, but booked in match against Woodlands last Saturday, Mioch, Brian, Stephen Chan, Ivica Ragus, again Siva Kuma is facing Ragus, Ragus uses Imran Mohammed, Imran being fouled, trying to get past Hazali Nasiron, so it's going to be a free kick for the SAF once again. And Imran there, just taking his man on. Obviously, he's learning that from the uh, the Croatians in midfield. A lot of these young SAF players are learning from players like Yuri Eresh, uh, Sean Selvaraj has a great deal to learn about uh, how to lead the line from these fellas. Willem Akwain then with the free kick for the Warriors. It's a good one, but too direct at Abdul Malik in goal, but it had a lot of power, a lot of venom in it. And it was a decent free kick from Willem Akwain. But you would have to do much better to beat this man in goal for Palestine, who's been in such good form for the Tigers. Well, in the match between Tampines Rovers and Geelong United being played at the Tampines Stadium, the score there is one all at the moment. So, two early goals in that match. We're still, we still await the first goal here at the Topayo Stadium. The cross coming in from Hazali Nasiron to Kifli Karayo challenging. Akanil Napla missing and it's a nice header back from Yuri Eresh to V. Salvaraj. Eresh making a good run down the left, it's a good ball from Salvaraj. Has Eresh, yes! It's 1-0, it's an excellently taken goal. Very well taken from Yuri Eresh and with that goal now, he is the top scorer with 21 goals. But with Goran Palic, of course, playing in this match as well, he'll fancy his chances of a goal or two tonight as well. But it's 1-0 to the SAF in the 18th minute of play. As we see a good through ball being played by Savaraj to Yuri Eresh and Abdul Malik coming out to narrow the angle, committed himself into the dive and Yuri Eresh just waiting his chance and just putting the ball over Abdul Malik for 1-0 at the Topayo Stadium. But that should make the uh, the match all the more interesting because Ballester will have to come back now. They'll have to attack the SAF. No real surprise, SAF have started very brightly here and uh, they've just prized the defence open. Great ball through from Selvaraj. And I, I would blame Abdul Malik for committing himself a bit early there. Goran Paulic, who hasn't scored in the last three games. Of course, he missed the last one against Jong Baru on Tuesday. But his run before that was exceptional, scoring in every match from the start in the Pioneer Series, as we see Kovjevic now, trying to conjure up something on the left. This is Goran Paulic taking a shot, and Harry Swap getting in the way, fortunately, and Effendi sub to finally diving over the ball to make sure that the ball remains with the SAF. But Goran Paulic fencing his chances, surely, on that occasion, for one all. Very well worked by Marko Kralievic in the corner there and a uh, great ball pulled across and uh, Goran Palic, the ball did bobble a little bit and he didn't get a great strike on it. This is Richard Bock receiving the ball from Effendi sub two, quite unintentionally too. Ivica Ragus, Stephen Chan, who's an exciting defender who likes to lend support to the attack on at any opportunity. That's gone out for the goal kick to Ballester, which Abdul Malik wants to take very quickly. 
as we look at Yuri Arish, who's just put the SCF 1-0 up. Seems to be limping slightly, so hopefully it's not something that will deter him from providing the, uh, the entertainment that he's so capable of providing. That is a corner now to Ballester, which Abdul Wafi will trot up to take for the Tigers. As we look at Kralievich, moving into the center of the area to take up his position for the corner. Well, the Ballester fans really getting behind the team now. They're hitting their drums and they're chanting loudly as Nathaniel Napla challenges together with Goran Palic and Esad Sedic. What's the decision of the referee? It's a goal kick. And that will give a chance to the SAF to just gather their senses. As we look at uh, an SAF player who's gone down, I think it's Davo Mioch. So some attention will be given to Mioch as we look at uh, Lieutenant Colonel Chris Chan doing his bit from the bench. Must be a very pleased man at the moment with his team leading on the night and of course leading the table. I think he's also slightly a worried man because uh, the man he was beckoning to there was uh, not the fella on the floor, Davo Mioc, but uh, Yuri Eresh, who's definitely limping around holding his groin a little bit and um, that will be a major concern if uh, if their man in form should be injured out, they'll, be, uh, they'll have a lot of problems. There's Yuri Eresh, he's moving a little bit easier. I think it's the, uh, the groin on the left-hand side he's been favouring a, a little. Showed a nice turn of pace to get the goal and uh, dinked the ball over well from, over Abdul Malik. But uh, he seems to be moving reasonably comfortably now. They offered him the spray, but the spray on the groin is A, painful and B, not very useful. Good control from... Ivica Ragus, College back to Sivakuma as Ballester regained possession but Sivakuma has given it back to the SAF and Harry Swap will pick up on the loose ball, plays it to Ivica Ragus immediately obviously everything stems from Ragus and Kryan in midfield this is Mioc now, good ball down the line to Imran Mohamed Imran who has a fair bit of speed down the flank this is Ragus Good ball from him to Stephen Chan. The SAF move up very well. Good formation. Richard Bock being brought down by Abdul Wafi. Slightly late challenge from Abdul Wafi, but nothing serious. The referee just has uh, one or two words with him. As we have another SAF player down. Well, the scorers at the uh, Tampines Stadium, Marco Antonio for Tampines Rovers and Zulkana and Zainal putting Geelang into the lead. But it's one all there at the moment. So it's the magic spray once again. Bit of a worry seeing Richard Bock down injured because it was only a few years ago that he had a very nasty motorbike accident and had a, a badly broken leg and uh, there may be a weakness that uh, has lingered on there. Good to see Richard up and about now. Villa McCryan then will prepare to take the free kick as we look at the four-man Ballastier wall which comprises Palic, Kralievich, Abdul Wafi and Zulkifli Kadoyoho. Vivo Boguchanin was very alert, the free kick was being taken while the referee was still trying to get the wall further back. Steven Chan, Siva Kuma, important interception from, Siva, uh, from Nathaniel Napla, in fact, stuck his foot out. This is Azali Nasaron just making sure by putting the ball out to touch. Ivica Ragus, Steven Chan, Mioch, back to Ragus. Good one-touch play from the SAF. This is Vela McRyan now. So Kivli Karayoho quickly on him. Stephen Chan will have to scamble to keep that one in. Fails to do so, so it's going to be a throw-in to Ballester, which will be taken by Hazali Nasaron. Vela McRyan on your screens, wearing number 10. So instrumental in midfield for the Warriors. That's a good ball out to Abu Wafi. 
Abdul Rafi with a lot of space and time now. He's, he's going to bring it to the byline and cross it. Well, it was a reasonably good cross. Marko Kovjevic doesn't think so, though, because he's remonstrating at Abdul Wafi. Could have been better, for sure, but uh, Zulkifli Kalihil crosses in. And Fendi Sattu is there first to the ball against Esad Tedic. Zulkifli Jumadi for the SAF. Playing a bad ball, easily picked up by Manap Hamad. Chested down nicely by Manap. Man up with a good ball down to the right again for Abdul Wafi. Another chance for him to perhaps perfect the cross. Plays it short to Kolyevic instead. Kolyevic will want to turn his man. Plays the ball back to Abdul Wafi. Esad Sedic with the header. And Harry Swap with the header clearance for the SAF in the end. But the SAF certainly under some pressure at the moment from the Ballester Central Tigers. Zulkifli Zulkif Karayoho keeping the ball in but unfortunately not keeping possession. Iveka Raguz, oh, brilliant play from Raguz. He's got such long strides and such good control. Good ball to Yuri Arej. Arej being watched by Manap Hamad. Manap Hamad sticking to his task, just sticking the right foot out and dispossessing Arej. This is Siva Kuma being dispossessed in return by Yuri Arej. And that would be a throw in to. Well, it looks like Yuri Arej is signalling to the bench that he won't be able to continue. And trying to keep the ball in there might have caused the final damage. Hopefully not. He's come back onto the field of play, but he's certainly in a fair bit of pain, Yuri Arej. He's quite clearly favouring uh, the, the left leg there. And uh, he signalled to the bench that he wanted to come off. And uh, really keeping an injured man on is a, a bit of a mistake. Harry Swap for the SAF to Richard Bopp. Salvaraj is making a run forward. Richard Bopp has seen him, uses him now. But again, Nathaniel Nafla is there with the challenge. So Richard Bopp with the throw in then for the Warriors. Doesn't have anybody to throw the ball to. Willem McCrian is available. He uses V. Salvaraj instead. Savaraj gets past Nathaniel Napla, but then bumps into Lyudva Bogucanin, who gets up immediately and plays a good ball down the right for Marko Kolyevich. Well, Steven Chan, who has uh, good speed, but Kolyevich manages to retain possession for Ballester. He's got Goran Palic now, if he wants to use him. Goes into the centre instead with Zulkifli Karayoho. Zulkifli towards Esad Sedic. Sedic laying the ball off for Zulkifli Karayoho. It's still bubbling unkindly now. And dangerously for the SAF, finally has cleared into touch for the throw into Ballester. But Ballester beginning to look fairly dangerous when they move forward as well now. Abdul Wafi back to Nathaniel Napla. Napla with the early cross intended for Sedic. But it's Mioch with a good header. It's Azali Nasiran who will be unable to keep that ball in. So it's going to be a Warriors throw in far side. Oh, nice little spell there from Ballastia. They uh, showed a little bit more composure in front of uh, the box and uh, played the ball around and opened up the defence rather well. I think they're getting a lot of joy down the right flank where Richard Box being pressed into left back position for SAF doesn't look entirely comfortable with his positional sense. Kolevich. Sedic is asking for the ball but he's very tightly marked Sedic with the uh, ball finally trying to return it to Kolevich. Plays it now to Zulkifli Karayoho, who passes the ball to Nathaniel Napla. Napla, good turn from him, good change in direction, good determination as well, as we see Napla still in possession for Ballester. Takes a shot, oh, it's an excellent shot. And Effendi Sabtu, who certainly didn't see much of that, brilliant shot from this man, Nathaniel Napla. Effendi Sabtu got down very late, managed to keep the ball out. And he'll probably be asking himself now, as we see from the slow motion we play, Nathaniel Napla, who has allowed too much time on the ball and allowed time to take the shot as well. And Efendi Sabtu, with so many players in front of him, finally just getting down and stretching out the arm to put the ball out for the corner. But a good attack from Ballester, good attempt at goal, which so easily could have made it 1-0, but it's still 1-0 to the SAF. I would have thought that uh, strike from Nathaniel Napla was about the hardest shot we've seen in uh, both halves of the season. Tremendous strike from a good 30 yards and actually Effendi Sabtu did well to keep it out at all. 
a lot of backspin on it after he, uh, he collected it and just perhaps deserved that little bit of luck where he scrambled it away. Fendi Sabtu was a bundle of nerves in the match we covered last Saturday at the Jurong Stadium against Woodlands Wellington, SAF versus Woodlands. But he'll be happy to have made that save. Finally, the corner comes in, but it's cleared only as far as Azali Nasiran. Azali towards Kralievich. Esa Tedic is challenging. Finally, it's Velima Kryan. Just happy to get the ball away. This is Kryan now. He's got Ivica Ragus to his left, but he switches direction and uses Selvaraj instead. Selvaraj knows Imran Mohammed is down the right, and he goes for Eresh, the direct route, unfortunately too direct, at Abdul Malik. Abdul Malik. Quick throw out to Abdul Wafi. Abdul Wafi down the line for Kralievich, who seems to be everywhere at the moment, covering every blade of grass possible. Davo Mioch, good cutout. Good ball to Ivika Raguz. Raguz with the forward run as usual. He's got Selvaraj and he's got Yuri Eresh. Takes a shot himself. Abdul Malik with the save. The follow up by V. Selvaraj. It's 2 0 to the SAF in the 31st minute of play. It was a good save by Abu Malik, but he wasn't able to hold on to the ball. A good strike by Ivica Ragu started it all. Good run from him. And he decided to go for the shot himself when he could have so easily used Selvaraj to his right and Yuri Eresh to his left. These fans are ecstatic as the travelling support see their team take a 2-0 lead. This is the slow motion replay. Ivica Ragu good save, but I feel that uh, perhaps Abu Malik could have held on to the ball. And Visovaraj ever so quick with the follow-up, it's 2-0. Visovaraj keeping up his run of goals, Jamie. Yeah, and that's a real striker's goal. They're the, they're the sort of goals that give you 30-odd goals a season. Because he's just got to be in the right place at the right time. Empty net, just tap it in. But you've got to be there, and uh, that's an instinct. And Silveraj shows that he has that instinct. An excellent goal. Yuri Eresh did well to take defenders away. A good strike, and uh, I, I agree with you, Gareth, that uh, Abdul Malik's either got to hang on to that one or push it wide of the post. There's no point just parrying it from uh, from that in that sort of position. Perhaps he wasn't so comfortable in holding on to it because of the uh, the wet ball, but he should have done much better in parrying it further or out for the corner. He failed to do either, and it's a 2-0 scoreline now for the away team in favour of the away team. Although Paulic has a shot now, Fendi Sabtu dives, Paul C of players in front of him. Abdul Wafi, we want to keep the uh, pressure on for Ballester, he's brought down, the referee says play on. Reese Alvaraj getting away with, uh, with the challenge. As the challenge by Siva Kumar now is going to be picked up easily by the referee right on the spot. Siva Kumar will be booked because he was spoken to earlier on by Mr. Santan. So Mr. Santan will now certainly have no choice but to give the yellow card to A. Siva Kumar. First player to go into the referee's book tonight. Ballester perhaps feeling things aren't going their way. Siva Kumar clearly deserving the booking there for the bad foul from behind. I actually thought Silveraj probably did uh, commit the foul in the box just prior to that. It would have been a bit harsh to give the penalty because uh, there was no danger, but I thought it was a foul and uh, on another day Ballester could well have found themselves with a penalty. All they've ended up with is for a booking for one of their players. Azali Nasiron then to move forward once again for Ballester. Paulic having to come deep to receive the ball. Good ball from Paulic to Siva Kuma who's made a good run down the left for Ballester. He's been cut off now. Oh, but it's still Siva Kuma! Oh, brilliant goal! Hey, Siva Kuma! Getting his name onto the score sheet. The Ballester fans in front of us are ecstatic. And we do have a match now, Jamie. It's 2-1 still in favour of the SAF Warriors. But Ballester, after not being able to get the referee's decision, found the uh, foul by Selvaraj earlier on in the, bo in the box. Come back almost immediately with the reply. Siva Kumar being allowed. It looked like Davo Mioch had cut him off initially, but he stuck to his task. And with the right foot, just putting it over Effendi Sub 2 in goal for the SAF. So it's 2-1 still to the SAF, but we do have quite a match now. Extraordinary goal. That was really right out of the Sundra Murti book. Cut inside beautifully, picked his spot, and Effendi Sub 2 could only help the ball on into the net. And as you so rightly say, we've really got a match on our hands now. Villa McRyan, Raguz, being fouled, Kolevich protests, the referee will wave him away immediately. 
Sivakuma has to be careful. He's just got a, a goal, but he, before scoring the goal, got a yellow card as well. So he's made a name of, for himself in more ways than one tonight. Boyevich. He's got Polic moving forward. He's made the diagonal run now. Polic receiving the ball from Kralievich. Finally, back to Kralievich. Kralievich should fancy his chances now, but he's been pushed wide. But it's Abdul Wafi to pick up on the loose ball. Abdul Wafi has Steven Chan in front of him. The cross way out to Azali Nasiron. Certainly not intended. This is Zulkifli Karayoho. Zulkifli who has quite a shot. Holding on to the ball, showing too much of it to Ivika Raguz. Manap Hamad, not a very good pass towards Azali Nasiron. Azali completely mistiming the jump. But it's Ballester back in possession. Manap Hamad back to Lyubo Bogachanin. The SCF who went 2-0 up surely must have thought that the, the match was going to be theirs. But anyone, anyone will tell you that Ballester are such a capable team, especially on the breakaways. Ivika Raguz. Savaraj, Eresh, is this number three? Well, Abdul Malik just managing to get his body in the way and then finally just jumping over the ball to make sure that it wasn't going anywhere else. But Yuri Eresh, who's still limping, and certainly he'll be waiting for half time to get some attention in the dressing rooms. Doesn't want to go off in a match like this, nobody would. Yuri Eresh grimacing in pain as Abdul Wafi passes the ball now to Kalyevich. Good cross from Kroljevic to Esad Sedic, it's too high for Sedic, but it will fall nicely to Azali Nasran, who was supporting very nicely. Zulkivli Karuyo on his left foot. Azali Nasran out to Abdul Wafi, this is good play from Ballester. They're using Abdul Wafi a lot, good low drive from Abdul Wafi. And nobody was able to get a touch on the ball. But it's still Hazali Nasran and Ballester piling on the pressure now on the Warriors. Zulkivli Karuyo getting the corner from the deflection. So, good sustained pressure by Ballester on the SAF. And the crowd in the stadium certainly now getting very, very noisy. They're having a great spell at the moment, Ballester, and they'd love to get the equaliser before half-time, just while the uh, momentum is with them. And they're creating an awful lot of problems on both flanks now. So, the corner comes in from Zulkifli Karayoho. Zulkifli once again, but I'm sure he's not going to get to that one. Indeed, it's Willem Akryan. Good clearance, but everybody's back defending for the SAF, so it'll fall to Siva Kuma. Who passes the ball to Boguchanin. Boguchanin out to Manap Muhammad. Manap to Abdul Wafi. Kolyevic. Kolyevic still on the ball, ever so dangerous when he's in possession. It's too long, unfortunately, the cross. And it's picked up by the SAF and Zulkifli Jumadi. Vika Raguz beating his man on that occasion, Siva Kuma. And it's still Raguz, he's got Yuri Eresh. But Yuri Eresh is not as mobile as he was earlier. And it's going to be Boguchanin who will go into the referee's book for sure. The referee immediately calling him over and reaching into his pocket. So that's the second yellow card of the match. And both the yellow cards going Ballester's way, unfortunately. Can't really understand why Manap Hamat was arguing about that. Uh, Boguchanin just stood his ground and body checked uh, 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 Kryan as he was in full flight and uh, had to expect a booking for that one. So it's a free kick for the SAF which Willemar Kryan undoubtedly will trot over to take for them. Yuri Erej and Selvaraj are in the box. Just slightly outside is Richard Bark. Erej trying to get his head to the ball and mistiming the jump so the ball goes way out for the goal kick to Ballester. Actually a good chance that one uh, Yuri Eresh managed to get away from Manap Hama and was uh, all on his own he managed to be able to get a bit of a jump on uh, free header on the edge of the six yard box. Abdul Malik then with the goal kick for Ballester. Ryan being beaten by Abdul Wafi. Kraljevic beating Richard Bok nicely. It's still Kraljevic. And just holding on to the ball a little too long, perhaps. This is a Kifli Jamadi for the Warriors. Raguz receiving the pass from Zulkifli. Returning it now. 
In fact, it's Umran Muhammad in possession for the Warriors now, but he's given possession back to Ballester and Abdul Malik. Abdul Malik with the quick throw to Zulkifli Karayoho. Manab Hamad. A lot of movement forward for Ballester. Goran Polic, who has been fairly quiet by his own standards, but he's in possession now for the Tigers. Plays a good low ball towards uh, Esad Sedic, but there are too many SCF players there. And finally, it's Vista Varaj playing the ball out to Stephen Chan. Stephen Chan will just hold on and finally pass the ball to Ivica Raguz to allow players to move forward for the Warriors. Raguz being dispossessed. But it's Yuri Erej and the referee pulls him up for handball, I think it was. So it's a free kick to Ballester. And you've got to say, Gareth, it's an absolutely fascinating contest at the moment. We've got the uh, experienced Ballester forwards playing against a fairly raw SAF defence marshaled by Davo Miuc. And uh, the experienced players are beginning to find where the gaps are and where there's a vulnerability and uh, chances are coming their way. I, I wouldn't think this game's over by any stretch of the imagination. Willem McCryan being challenged. That was a good challenge by Abdul Wafi. Abdul Wafi making a run down the right. Nathaniel Napla should use him eventually, but he passes the ball to Kolyevich instead. Kolyevich onto his left foot, crossing for Esad Sedic. Sedic still in possession. Oh, unfortunately getting under the ball and putting it over for the goal kick, but that was uh, good possession football from this man in particular, Esad Sedic, shielding the ball nicely, his final touch letting him down and the ball going out for the goal kick. You can see here the control with the head, trying to get it back to Kroljevic, but it didn't quite, uh, he didn't quite pull it off and finally deciding that he has to take the shot on his own and putting it over the crossbar. Good use of the body there, they're big lads, these Croatians up front and playing against much smaller local players and uh, Krajanja Earth um, said it's just leaning into his man there. Perhaps could have let the ball fall even further. So Raj being challenged from behind by Boguchanin. Boguchanin's got to be careful because he's also been booked just a while ago. Two very important players in the Ballester side, very hard tacklers, Boguchanin and Siva Kuma. They've got to watch their step as the SA prepared to take the free kick with Velma Kryan and Ivica Ragus over the ball. Both of them have a fairly good shot from the dead ball situation. It's Velma Kryan taking the shot. And Abdul Malik, well, the ball rebounding off his chest, hitting his face. But he was able to hold on to the ball. And fortunately so too, as we look at the slow motion replay, the free kick by Velma Kryan. It was a good shot, good strike. It went cleanly, no deflection. And Abdul Malik will be very thankful to be able to hold on to that one with Yuri Arias looming very near. Harry Swap, good clearance from him with the head, but only as far as Hazali Nasiron. Hazali with the uh, up and under, long hanging ball towards Abdul Wafi. Abdul Wafi will take the throw in for the Tigers. He's got nobody to play the ball to at the moment. Kolyevich and Nathaniel Napla make themselves available, but the marking is so very tight at the moment. Good touch by Polish to Kolyevich. It's a deflection by the SAF captain, Harry Swap. Deflecting the ball into his own goal, and it's 2 all. As we approach halftime, we're into the 44th minute now. And it's all square at the Topayo Stadium between Ballester Central and the SAF. The goal is credited to Marko Kraljevic, but it could also be interpreted as an own goal as we look at the slow motion replay. The strike by Kraljevic, it hit the captain, Harry Swap, and that should go down as an own goal, Jamie. Well, I think in Italian soccer that would be classed as an own goal. I think in British soccer they might call that uh, Kralievich goal. But either way, it was a lovely touch from Goran Paulic, and it was, uh, it was a goal that was on its way, and now they've uh, let themselves down by back passing to the goalkeeper who's then picked it up. And really, the SAF are at sixes and sevens just at present. Mr. Santon with a smile on his face, awarding the free kick to Ballester. They've come back very well indeed in this match. 2-0 down and then a quick reply from Siva Kuma and now Harry Swap with the own goal, making it all square. One of the uh, most interesting and most entertaining games we've seen in the league for sure this season.
And Ballester have an excellent opportunity now to go into the lead just before half time. We are into the final minute of normal time, with the referee probably just adding on a minute or so for some minor stoppages that we've had. It's Goran Paulic and Esad Sedic over the ball for Ballester. And Goran Paulic who strikes a sweet shot and who is one of those players who can keep the ball low should fancy his chances here. So finally it's Paulic, it's Esad Sedic with the follow-up. Paulic still, the ball is still not cleared. The SAF living very dangerously. Hazali Nasiran to take a shot from way out, which was the wise thing to do because uh, there were one or two players who were still offside. And finally the ball sensibly sensibly being played all the way back to Abdul Malik Nathaniel Napla to Abdul Wafi Abdul Wafi to Kolyevich Kolyevich turning his man causing some problems for Richard Bock at the moment and Richard Bock just sticking to his uh, task of doing some defending on the ground for the SEF and there's no doubt about it Ballester won't want the half-time whistle to go there's 45 minutes done but at the moment it's all them and they must feel that if they can just play for a few more minutes a third goal could well be coming their way we've had half a minute of time added on the corner comes in it's Sedic who climbs and the ball goes over for the goal kick I think one of the great things with soccer is the way the thing can uh, can just change direction uh, you think back to, for example, Singapore when they were tuned up against Myanmar in the SEA Games a couple of years ago. But here we had SAF, top of the league, 2 nil up, cruising comfortably. And suddenly they, there's a surprise goal by Ballastia. They start putting some pressure on and now there's only one team in it at the moment. SAF can't get out of their half. So Mr. Santan calls the uh, half-time proceedings to a halt. It's been a real old first half for sure. With the SAF taking a 2-0 lead, Yuri Erish scoring in the 17th minute, V. Selvaraj putting them further ahead in the 30th, and then AC Vakuma replying three minutes later to make it 2-1, and then just two minutes before half-time, Harry Swap deflecting into his own goal for 2-all at half-time here at the Topayo Stadium. We'll take a short break. We'll be back for more exciting action from this match in the second half in just a bit. Pepsi brings you S-League action. These exciting moments have been brought to you by Pepsi, the official soft drink of the S-League. Bio Stadium. For those of you who have just tuned into this live telecast on Premier 12 of the match between Ballester Central and the SCF Warriors, I just want to tell you that you've missed a cracker of a first half. Four goals in all, 2 0 it was to the SCF Warriors. Yuri Arish scoring the 17th minute, V. Selvaraj putting them further ahead in the 30th, and then AC Vakuma replying three minutes later to make it 2 1. And just two minutes before half time, it's all square with Harry Swap deflecting into his own goal for the current scoreline here at the Topayo Stadium. Jamie Reeves, your comments on the first half. Well, I think that's the most entertaining half of football we've seen in the S League so far. Uh, I thought it was terrific. Um, the game has swung in both directions. SAF were very much in control. They got the first goal beautifully. The second goal came nicely. Everything was going their way. Then Ballastia retrieved the situation with a goal out of nothing from Siva Kumar but then suddenly piled on the pressure towards the end of the half and it was no great surprise to see them get the equaliser. I'm sure that Ballester are very keen to get out and get going in the second half and I should think that we've got a, an entertaining half in front of us on a good pitch in front of a good crowd. We were talking at halftime, Jamie, about Kroljevic exploiting the weakness down the left side in defence for the SAF and in particular Richard Bock. Richard Bock is a forward, certainly when I used to play with him, he used to play up front or an attacking midfielder. He's been pressed into action as a sort of wing-back in left-back position. Kralievich keeps going into that position in the pitch, and Richard's not the best defender in the world, and Kralievich is causing a lot of problems down that flank. So the referee about to get us underway for the second half. Ballester attacking the goal to our left now in the all-red strip. And certainly, whatever happens, we've already had quite an entertaining match. But certainly, the second half should be much better than the first, with both teams going all out for the victory. 
Ballester in particular, like I mentioned earlier, will want to close in on the SAF. If they win tonight, they'll be just one point behind the SAF. And it is a yellow card to the number three, Stephen Chan. So the SAF getting their first booking. Two bookings for Ballester in the first half. Boguchanin and Sivakuma. So now this young man, Stephen Chan, will have to watch his step as well. As Manap Hamad lines himself up to take the free kick for Ballester. Aimed again towards Sedic. And Kolyevich complains that he was expecting the ball back across goal from Sedic. Which didn't come and has gone out for the goal kick instead. I agree with Marco there. I was amazed. Uh, Sedic did ever so well. Got himself free at the far post. Good ball in from Manap Hamad. And uh, if he knocked it back across goal, Kralievic could well have got the, uh, got the third goal for them. Just the sort of pressure that Ballester want to apply early in the second half. So the goal kick from the skipper, Harry Swap, towards Imran Mohamed. The throw in. Oh. It's the free kick. So, Ivi Karagos to take the free kick then for the SAF. Yuri Arej is still on the field, so obviously he's received some treatment at half-time in the dressing room. And the SAF will be glad to keep him on field. Double Mioch. Turning Sivakuma well, playing a good ball to Ivi Karagos. Ragus to Kryan, Kryan back to Ragus. Good one-touch play from the SAF once again. Ragus is brought down by Sivakuma. The referee says play on, good challenge. Interpreted by the referee is Bugu Chanin, who moves forward now for Ballester to Kralievich. Kralievich again will want to exploit the, the so-called weakness in the left side. Kralievich still, and he's just overrun the ball, but he's earned the corner nonetheless for Ballester. So Ballester piling on the pressure and beginning the second half the way they ended the first. Just overran it there after doing the hard part and getting past his two defenders. Uh, he was bearing in on goal and really uh, he missed the opportunity, he should have driven the ball across when he had the chance. Once again, it's the same sort of danger position though, down that right flank, Bal uh, Ballester doing awfully well. So it'll be Abdul Wafi then to take the corner for Ballester. Aimed towards the big men, polished climbs, he doesn't get to the ball, Nathaniel Napla is there as well. It falls back kindly for Abdul Wafi who gets a chance to cross the ball in low this time. Mistimed or miskicked the ball rather. And cut out by Vela McRyan. Yuri Arej to Stephen Chan. Stephen Chan being cut off in return. And the SAF just struggling at the moment to get the ball out of their own half. Finally, it's a free kick for them for the foul on Kryan. Quickly taken by Richard Bock to Kryan. Brian to Mioch. Mioch has Imran Mohammed to his right if he wants to use him. Uses him now. This is Imran. Back to Mioch. Mioch sidestepping Paulich. Well. Into Yuri Erish. Boy Vika Ragus. In fact, Ragus with one of his runs once again. Passing the ball now to Kryan. Zulkifli Jumadi. And that's just a little too long for Imran Mohammed from Zulkifli, so it's gone out for the throw-in which Hazali Nasiron will take for the Tigers. Baguchanin. The thing about Ballester is that they didn't crumble even when they were down 2-0. Sivakuma's quick reply, of course, helped them a lot, but uh, they've come back very nicely and the game is nicely poised now for an exciting end in the second half. Azali Nasiron with the throw-in for Ballester to Goran Paulic. Paulic who has not had much possession and not been involved in the match as he normally is. Zulkifli Karayo with the header on towards Sivakuma. Sivakuma to Abdul Wafi. Good skill, good control by Abdul Wafi to get the ball to Zulkifli Karayo once again. Zulkifli out to Kralievich. Ballester prepared to just uh, depend on the slow build-up when they are unable to counter-attack, which is one of the strengths of the team. Ragus with Erej with a nice layoff to Brian. Brian will fancy his chances of a shot. 
He delayed it too long and finally no venom in the shot and easily fielded by Abdul Malik in goal for Ballester. Azali Nasiron to Zulkifli Karayoho. Zulkifli looks up, passes the ball to Nathaniel Napla. Good run by Abdul Wafi once again. And surprisingly, the SCF are leaving a lot of gaps down the left side in defence. And it's Siva Kuma who tried to take the shot. Esad Sedic was there as well, but it's Imran Mohammed now. But being dispossessed easily by Hazali Nasiron. Hazali who's done a good job in defence for Ballester in this match. And in other matches as well, I must add. Siva Kuma will let that one roll out for the throw-in. Kralievic makes himself available once again. Oh, good cross from Kralievic towards Sedic. But Double Mioch was alert to what was happening and he puts the ball out for the corner now to Ballester. So continued pressure from the Tigers on the Warriors. As they prepare to take yet another corner. Far side with Abdul Wafi. Abdul Wafi who is relishing a his chance down the right side. He's been given a lot of time and space on too many an occasion, perhaps. As he takes the corner now, aim towards Paulic. Just a little too high for Paulic. The Kifli Karayoho miss skewing. And finally, it's the up and under clearance, which Boguchanin deals with comfortably for Ballester. For Abdul Malik will have to come out of his area. And good controlled play by Ballester coming out of defense. Boguchanin making room to move to the left now to pick up that pass from Manab Hamad and a good ball by Boguchanin to Siva Kumar Siva Kumar who loves to lend support to the attack it's a low cross two shot for Kralievich easily picked up by Harry Swap Harry Swap to Imran Mohammed who plays the ball now to Ragus Ragus to Kryan and finally it's Yuri Eresh who gets the pass from Kryan and seems to be None the worse for the injury he picked up in the first half. Seems to be running quite well. Imran Mohammed being cut off easily by Hazali Nasiron. Good reading of the game there by Hazali. He knew what was coming on and he made sure he got first to the ball. There's certainly a real hunger about Ballester. Uh, in the defence, they're looking a lot sharper than they were in the first 30 minutes of the game. And uh, they're looking a lot more purposeful when they get hold of the ball. Much will rely on the two Croatians in midfield to take a control of it for SAF if they're going to get something out of this match. This is Raguz getting the ball now to Yuri Eres and Kryan or double Mioc leaning support now taking the shot being blocked Imran Mohammed still in possession for the SAF the cross comes in Abdul Malik will have to get to that and he does quite comfortably too. It's an early ball out by Abdul Malik too early only Esad Sedic was up for Ballester. He might have held on to that ball instead. Raguz being brought down by Siva Kuma. Siva Kuma not one to pull out of the challenges. Mioc to Imran Mohammed. As we look at Siva Kuma now, this is Mioc once again. Mioc being challenged by Zulkifli Karayoho. And Zulkifli is going to be called to the referee. And my co-commentator Jamie Reeves grimaces because uh, I don't think anybody thinks that's a bookable offence. Don't know whether the referee is going to reach into his pocket. I don't think he will. Zilkifli explaining that he jumped there. It, it looked to me like he made no attempt to play the ball. Um, and uh, he's explaining to the referee that he was just trying to jump out the way. But it looks as if he kind of jumped into his man but, uh, instead. He's still upset about it, but um, it's, it's one of those things. Uh, I think the action is being interpreted differently by different people. But it's no booking, which is a good decision by the referee, who has had a fair game. It's been a fair game for him to referee as well. It's been very fast and furious, but uh, just commitment. Not too many bad fouls and uh, thoroughly entertaining stuff. Ragus then with the free kick to Yuri Eresh. Eresh being watched so closely by Manap Hamad. He's got Hazali Nasiron to get past now. And Hazali putting the ball out to touch for the throw in to the Warriors. It's Imran Mohammed who will take the throw in as we look at Hazali who's had a good game. 
Imran has nobody available. Finally, Selvaraj makes himself available for the pass from the throw-in. Raghus against Sivakuma. Good play from Raghus. Good cross from him too. Oh, that's a simple goal. Easily headed in by Yuri Erej. He's got goal number 22. That puts him two ahead of Goran Palic. It's now 3-2 at the Topayo Stadium. And we are into the 55th minute of play. And the SEF have taken the lead yet again. Jamie. Absolutely brilliant from Raghus there. Nowhere to go on the line. Siva Kumar very close to him. Nowhere to go at all, but he just uh, dummied, dummied again, here he goes. When he gets the chance to cross, pinpoint accuracy, Yuri Eresh gets up there, thank you very much. As easy a goal as he'll get, in front of Abdul Malik, tucks that one away beautifully. Bad groin or no bad groin, you can knock those in. Well, he is still limping a bit, but he's been able to get his head to the ball to give the lead to the SAF once again. It's 3-2 at the Topayo Stadium. And if play continues like this, we are surely going to be in for at least another goal or two. It's been a great match so far. Billy McRyan, but there will be some questions asked between Nathaniel Napla and Manab Hamad, because neither of them picked Yuri Erej up. And we see Erej on the ball now for the SAF yet again. Just checks, holds on to the ball, allowing players to move forward. Selvaraj has moved up now. It's Yuri Erej back in possession for the SAF. Plays the ball in now to Ivica Ragus. Ragus back to Erej and it's Ballester now who seem to be at sixes and sevens. But finally, it's Abdul Wafi receiving the pass from Manav Hamad who just stuck the foot out. Sedic, aware that Kolyevich was behind him. Important interception by Richard Bock who's moved over to the right. Kolyevich takes a shot. It's charged down. Kolic down to Zulkifli Karayoho. Zulkifli with the shot. Sedic, who is offside. Well, the referee was a little slow looking at his linesman, but the linesman's flag went up immediately. Sedic being caught offside. The shot from Zulkifli Karayoho reaching Sedic, but unfortunately, the infringement being given. This is Erej once again. He's got Selvaraj in the middle. Unable to hold on to possession. Cut out by Lyubo Boguchanin. Kolyevic receiving that good pass from Boguchanin. Good control from him. He's got Siva Kumar to use if he chooses to. And it's finally Harry Swap who's happy to knock that ball. Into touch for the throw in to Ballester. Harry Swap will be fairly relieved that his side have taken the lead now because it was his own goal that allowed the Ballester side to pull level at 2 all. Zulkifli Karayoho to Manab Hamad. Manab with the long ball, searching Esad Sedic out, but it's a good header by Harry Swap out for the corner. It's an important header by Harry Swap, who's having a good game in the middle of defence for the SAF once again. Yeah, his reading of the game seems to be improving as the season progresses. Harry Swap, a young man to be captain of the team, but uh, he takes the responsibility well. He's only 23 years of age, takes the responsibility well, and. Uh, it's his job to read the positions, and he did it awfully well there when Sedic could have had a free header. So it's the corner then, taken by Abu Wafi. Azali Nasiron playing the ball wide to Abu Wafi once again. Good, sensible ball from him. Abu Wafi has Velma crying to get past. He's got to use Hazali Nasiran once again. Hazali in towards Siva Kuma. Little misunderstanding between Siva Kuma and Manap Hamad for a moment or two. Manap finally gets possession, plays the long ball, looking for Kolyevich, and that goes out harmlessly for a goal kick to the Warriors. It's just a little bit of the sting gone out of Ballester this uh, since they got the since SAF got the third goal. Uh, that really wasn't in the script at all. They were going to come out, take the game to SAF, and go into the lead. And uh, it was very much against the run of play, and they just need to pick themselves up again and get back into their rhythm. And they could well get back into this game yet again. The header from Mona Hamad, almost reaching Kolyevich. In fact, it does, but Kolyevich has pushed his man. He's going to remonstrate with the referee for sure. The referee gives us a smile. And it's going to be a free kick for the Warriors. It's Richard Bock who's down. 
from that challenge by Kolevic, or that push rather. Didn't look too serious to me, but perhaps he fell awkwardly. So the physio is going to be on the field. And Esa Tedic is pushing the SAF physio away. You can see Sedic being spoken to now by Mr. Santan, the referee. But Sedic didn't want to allow the SAF physio onto the field, which uh, perhaps is something that uh, is worth talking about, Jamie. We were talking about it in the last match. The uh, FIFA ruling says that players must be stretched out immediately for treatment off the field, except for head injuries and uh, injuries to goalkeepers. Well, I think there is a feeling that uh, Richard Bott went down for a long time in early in the first half and he's gone down again looking as if he's uh, poleaxed and it was really not much of an incident at all. Trainer comes on, kills the time, the game runs away and um, Robin Chan there won't be too pleased about the, the, the sting being taken out of the game. Um, I, I rather agree with the Ballister lads that uh, get the fella off the pitch, let the physio take a look at him over there. So the game will resume with the free kick to the SAF to be taken by Hairi Swap. Hairi, who is a player very much in the mould of Rosali Saad, has a very similar style. This is Yuri Eresh. Thought of back heeling the ball there to Selvaraj. Takes the shot instead and it comes out. It comes off the outside of his left foot and spins out for the goal kick to Ballester. Well, despite limping away after that one, this is, uh, this is a man who's banging form in front of goal. Every opportunity he's going to take a shot. And it won't worry him at all that that one spun off the outside of his foot because he's already got two and he's the top score, scorer in the league. So he'll keep cracking and of course he'll keep getting plenty of goals that way. Well, he'll be perhaps a little worried about keeping his momentum up. The league takes a break of slightly under four weeks for the Tiger Cup. It resumes on the 17th of September and it'll be interesting to see if Yuri Eresh can continue to score when the league resumes then. But he's a class player as we look at another one on the ball for Ballester, Nathaniel Napla. Napla taking a shot on his own. It's now fallen to Sedic. Sedic heads the ball down for Sivakuma and Sivakuma unable to keep it down, putting it over the crossbar for the goal kick. But Sivakuma has been supporting the attack well whenever he's had the opportunity for Ballester. He's certainly a lively player. He's uh, ever so mobile, very committed. Throws himself in for some rather dodgy challenges, but uh, he's, he's certainly been very active tonight and done quite well down the left flank. Richard Bock, in the meanwhile, returns to the field of play after being attended to by his physio. And it's Harry Swap with the goal kick for the Warriors as we take a look at Richard Bock returning. Guchanin, only as far as Selvaraj. Selvaraj, who you said earlier on, Jamie, is uh, operating very deep for the SEF. Well, I think they like to play Yuri Eresh right the way up front and let Selvaraj drop a little bit deeper and come fetch and carry. It also takes uh, that man, Nathaniel. And that's why I was really out. Because he's marking yeah. Selvaraj. Man for man, and I think I would rather attack around. Him than yeah. oh. to have just lost their race. It's lately, for now. Oh. But you can be sure they'll come back. They're a fighting squad, fighting team. As Harry Swap puts the ball out for the throw in to Ballester. Harry Swap, who is 23 years of age, so he obviously has a promising career in front of him, ahead of him. He's got youth on his side, and he can only get better. Stephen Chan, first to the ball, versus. Zulkifli Karayoho, but only as far as Nathaniel Napla. Abdul Wafi asking for the ball down the right, but he's played it to Kralyevich instead. And Kralyevich is certainly not happy about that. And I can't see what was wrong in that, Jamie. No, I, I, poor old Marko Kralyevich, uh, he often seems to get the wrong side of the referees. And uh, there again, he was leaning into his defender, as, uh, as good forwards always do when he's receiving the ball. And uh, I really can't understand why the ref gave a foul against him there. Stephen Chan down the line for Vela McRyan. McRyan has Zulkifli Karayo in attendance. He's got to get past Zulkifli first, he's got no support. So he'll obviously try and play the ball off Zulkifli for the corner, but he fails to do so. And it's Ballester who will fight to come away. And they certainly had to fight to get out of defence there. Foul on Abdul Wafi as we look at Vincent Subramaniam shouting instructions as ever. 
probably the uh, the loudest of all coaches, Vincent Subramanian, has a thundering voice. That's Vincent in the red polo shirt next to the film Colonel Chan. Abu Wafi to Sedic, that's too high for him. And Ballester, who were uh, using the slow patient build up a lot in the first half, which paid dividends for them, allowing them to come back and pull level, are now relying once again on the long ball, which doesn't seem to be working. Not now, anyway. Double Mioch. Ragus is asking for the ball, making himself available, but he goes forward towards Selva Raj instead. And Manap Hamad goes down in a tumble. The free kick quickly taken by Ballester. Siva Kumar. Forward towards Kralievich, but it's cut out nicely by the SAF. Iveka Ragu is unable to hold on to the ball. It's Kralievich now in possession for Ballester. They look ever so dangerous again whenever he's in possession. So Kifli, Karayoho. So Kifli, who has found his form again and has had a recall to the national squad, quite rightly too. As we look at Raguz, passing the ball now to Salvaraj. And off camera, there is a player who is down as we look at uh, a couple of substitutes who will be coming on. But it's Yuri Eresh who has gone down in the Ballastir penalty area once again. So obviously the injury that he picked up in the first half is still giving him some problems. He's been able to get them ahead again with the third goal. But he's still in a fair bit of pain, and we might see the end of uh, Uri Eresh here in this match anyway. Yes, as, as that last ball was played into the box, and he turned, turned very quickly with Manap Hamat and just obviously overstretched the groin. We can see he's put cycle shorts on at half time, try to keep the groin warm. But these injuries don't go away just like that. And uh, I think all that's going to happen if he were to stay on is he would do more damage, much more sensible to. Uh, to make the substitution. So Esad Sedic is replaced by Abdullah No for Ballester. So Said Salim comes on for Yuri Eresh for the SAF and Esad Sedic is replaced by Abdullah No for Ballester. So two substitutions being made at the same time for both teams. I thought the substitution of Esad Sedic might be coming. He doesn't look 100% uh, fit himself. He's been very, uh, very spasmodic in the game tonight. And uh, maybe bringing on uh, goal scorer Abdullah Noor might give them the chance of getting the equaliser. Manam Hamad, back to Boguchanin. Bogushanin out to Abu Wafi. Goran Halic. Now that Yuri Arish has gone off, Halic will relish the opportunity to try and pull level for the top scorer's listings. He's now trailing Yuri Arish by two goals. Good pass from Napla out to Zulkifli Karayoho. Zulkifli is cut off immediately by V. Selvaraj. But it's still Zulkifli on the ball for Ballester. Tries to get the ball by the chip, or via the chip, pass Selvaraj, fails to do so, it's Hazali Nasaron instead for Ballester. Good cross from him, Polish comes in, the ball is still in the area, Kolyevich challenges and finally it's Davo Mioch with the clearance. Just happy to get the ball out of his own half, but only as far as Boguchanin, almost at the halfway line. That's indicative of the, uh, the kind of pressure that Ballester are piling on at the moment on the SAF. Everybody's forward for them and everybody's back for the SAF, defending. Zulkifli Karayoho fails to get past Ivica Raguz. Velima Kryan plays the ball out and it's now Ivica Raguz once again in possession. He's got V. Selvaraj and Imran Mohammed. Said Salim, who just came on a while ago, has moved into a left-sided position. As we see Imran Mohammed being challenged and dispossessed, but he's got the throw in from that challenge by Hazali Nasiron. Raguz. Raguz will want to just uh, put a little more pressure on Sivakuma. He's done well 
but the cross is put behind goal for the goal kick instead. Well, they're wonderful players for SAF, these two boys, Kryan and uh, Ragus, because even when they're under the cosh, as they've been for a lot of the time tonight, whenever they get the ball away to them, uh, they can relieve the pressure. They hold the ball, they're willing to run with the ball, they make good passes, they interplay well, and they, they just make sure that they take the sting out of the opposition. Excellent Good. professionals. We're into the last 20 minutes of the game with the SCF Warriors leading the Ballester Central Tigers by three goals to two. Yuri Erej with two, Visovaraj with one. But we turn into Napla. Napla being dispossessed, he didn't control the ball nicely. This is Said Salim to Salvaraj and Abdul Malik had to be on top of his, of his game there, using the feet to intercept. Gets a round of applause from his supporters, but Alistair could so easily have gone further behind. Sloppy defending and sloppy control by Nathaniel Napla, who's uh, had a fair game up to now. Dulano, the substitute, on for Ballester, doing well to keep that ball in. Oh, plays a delightful ball to A. Sivakuma. Sivakuma with a low cross, it's College with the shot. It's beaten down, Visa Raj picks up on the loose ball in midfield, passes it now to Iveka Ragus. Ragus forward for Said Salim, and Said Salim, who has gone into a forward position, although he's a midfielder, so obviously the SCF do not want to disturb their current formation too much with the substitution. Kaljevic crosses, and Sivakuma just unable to get to that ball. Iman Mohamed to double Miyach. Miyach to Raguz. Again, the SCF with a slow patient build-up, which works so well for them. Oh dear, Abdul Malik has uh, committed himself and the defending by Ballester was excellent. Fazali Nasiran was there, Manab Hamad was there as well. But they were caught out for a moment as Abdul Malik came, but there was cover on this occasion and the score remains the same. Abdul Wafi, return pass to Kolyevich. Kolyevich again relishing the uh, chance to take on the player down the right side for Ballester and he's got the throw in which Abdul Wafi will take. Fantastic pace to the game, it's been unrelenting, it's end-to-end -end stuff now, they've been at it for uh, almost an hour, an uh, hour and a quarter rather, and yet it, there's no let up whatsoever. Abdul Wafi trying to cross the ball in, he's on the corner now so the pressure being piled on by Ballester in search of the equaliser yet again. If they do score, it will be the second time in the match that they have equalised. They've not taken the lead at all in this match and somebody is in a bit of pain. But the SCF want to get the game on. Harry Swap just rolling his player off the field to get the attention off it. As Abdul Wafi takes the corner now for Ballester. The SCF want to maintain their concentration. College missing out on that uh, cross. Boguchanin will have to make himself first and he did well but he plays the ball too far forward and it goes directly out for the goal kick to the SAF. But Fendi Subtu in goal, for all the pressure that the uh, Ballester side has been piling on, Fendi Subtu in goal for the SAF, Jamie, has not had much to do. No, it's, uh, it's a tremendous pressure, but they don't seem to have created many clear-cut chances, and when they have created the chances, uh, defenders have thrown their bodies in the way. Uh, Fendi Subtu is a little bit eccentric with his goalkeeping, but quite a colourful character. Um, as, as you say, I don't think he's made a save this half. The defenders have done a good job in front of him, and uh, certainly they tightened up a great deal since the uh, since half time. So another substitution. Tan Kim Leng comes on for Richard Bock. So the SAF with two substitutions now. As we see Ballester with uh, Siva Kuma in possession. Being dispossessed, this is Imran Mohammed. Good ball out to Savaraj. Savaraj just taking his eye off the ball and giving possession back to Nathaniel Napla. Napla with a good ball to Zulkifli Karayohu, who plays it back to Manab Hamad. Looking for Kroljevic. Fendi Sabtu came. Oh, that's handball. That's handball by Kroljevic and he's not going to be allowed the goal. Fendi Sabtu applauds the linesman far side, who is Mr. Salikin Sakawi. But certainly it was a handball by Kroljevic. 
He challenged the keeper and we can see from the slow motion replay now, perhaps this will tell us exactly what happened. You can see Kraljevic challenging well and he seemed to have controlled the ball with his hand there. And then here again, he seemed to have used his hand to get the ball away from Effendi Sabto. Effendi Sabto immediately putting the hand up and complaining and getting the benefit of the referee's decision. Jamie. Well, interesting that he didn't get booked for it because uh, Ivan Kelic has been booked twice for Telmbaru for the same offence. Well, perhaps the referee interpreting it as uh, part of the play and not too blatant. So it's Ballester who come away yet again with College playing a poor ball back, but fortunately goes to Dito Boguchanin. This is Raguz. Being dispossessed by Nathaniel Napla. And uh, my co-commentator certainly feels that he took a dive. And he might know that too from the look on his face. He's got that kind of innocent look on his face, uh, but, it, but he was looking for the free kick there. He, he'd done very well, once again relieving the pressure, but uh, he just dived in the end and the referee was suckered into it. The fans not impressed with that one. This is Willem McCrain for the SAF, looking for another goal to make it just safer. Oh, good ball now. Uh, Stephen Chan, or was it Said Salim? In fact, it's Said Salim who came on a while ago, should really have done much better with the ball. With the shot, this is uh, Kryan getting the ball to Said Salim. And Said Salim perhaps uh, not having had enough time on the field to get a little warmed up, putting that ball over for the goal kick. I think you've been a bit kind to him there, Gareth. Uh, that was a glorious opportunity and he must hit the target even if he doesn't score. He'll never have more space than that in the box. So Abdul Malik with the goal kick aimed towards Palic, who hasn't been winning too many headers. And that has been quite telling for Ballester. Imran Mohammed, the slight touch on, but that will be easy for Abdul Malik. A quick throw out now to Abdul Wafi. Abdul Wafi, who has become so calm and experienced, having had a good run of games in the Ballester side in the S League. It's quite a rash for two, and that's easily caught by the keeper. Effendi Sabtu, who's just 21 years of age. He was a Lion City Cupper. We're looking at about the, the uh, SAF bench with Vincent Subramaniam. These will be tense moments for the SAF bench as we're into the uh, last 13 minutes or so, 12 or 13 minutes of the match. As Stephen Chan plays the ball now to Said Salim. Said Salim has only V. Salvaraj and Imran Mohammed in front, so he does the wise thing by checking and playing the ball back to Velima Kryan. Kryan to Imran Mohammed, who's brought down by Hazali Nasiron. So it's going to be a free kick for the SAF. Ballester would want to cut these free kicks that they're giving away now because uh, can prove costly. The SAF have got some pretty good dead ball strikers, one of whom is going to take the uh, free kick now, Velima Kryan. Everything's falling on the shoulders now of Salvaraj up front. He's moved into uh, a firm forward position for the SAF as Kryan takes the shot. And Abdul Malik just watches it go over. But it's obviously taken a slight deflection, so it's gone out for the corner to the SAF and a chance for them to pile on more pressure. Willem McCrine here taking the free kick just a moment or two ago. Actually, for a team that has completely lost their composure in the last 10 minutes before half time, SAF have come out and uh, done remarkably well. They got the uh, fairly early goal in the second half, and since then, uh, to be truthful, they've played the better football and looked a lot more composed. Ballester will really have to pull something out of the bag now. The corner's taken. Imran Mohammed, the low ball in, but it's uh, kicked away by Goran Palic. Picked up now by Vika Raguz. Raguz back to Davo Mioc. Mioc out to Said Salim and Said Salim gets his head to the ball well. Unfortunately no direction and straight to Abdul Malik and goal for Ballester. Well Ballester will know that they're running out of time now. We're into the last 10 minutes of normal playing time with perhaps another one minute or so to be added on for the one or two minor stoppages that we've had in the second half. And Kolyevich, who you were mentioning earlier, Jamie, has uh, kind of lost his way. Looks uh, very much the same for the Ballester side and these officials. 
Well, we have a score coming in from the Tampines Stadium and uh, well, it's a bit of a surprise because Rafi Ali has put Tampines Rovers into the lead. It's now 2-1 at the Tampines Stadium between Tampines Rovers and Geelong United. Marco Antonio equalising earlier on for Tampines in the first half. Zulkana Inzaino giving Geelong the initial lead. Well, that will be a good result. Geelong will have to win if they are to keep track with the, uh, with the leaders. As we look at Napla driving that ball in. And it goes out for the goal kick, sadly. But it was a good drive. And for a moment, Effendi Sabtu was, uh, or seemed to, just uh, unaware of what was happening. Well, with uh, less than 10 minutes to go of the game, I think uh, Ballester have got nothing to lose. They might as well push this fellow, Nathaniel Napla forward to see if he can get a goal for them because if the score stays like this then Ballester's season's over then there'll be uh, seven points adrift with only uh, five games to go and they're very unlikely to get back into it so they might as well go for it they might as well be hung for a sheep as for a lamb Belevic good ball out to Abdullah Noor Abdullah Noor of course is a super sub but he's been challenged and the ball came off him so it's going to be a goal kick Abdullah Noor who has done so well when he's come on for Ballester plays in a super sub role very much these days and uh, unfortunately unable to do anything on that occasion scored a goal when he came on against Tampines Rovers in the first game of the Pioneer Series at the Tampines Stadium in that 3-1 victory that Ballester got over the Rovers Harry Swap with the goal kick towards Imran Mohammed. Imran with the uh, header on nicely for Said Salim who's moved to the right side now for the SAF so I tell him a little short, that's a hospital ball really. But fortunately no injury, although Imran Mohammed gets up limping. Mala Mohammed to Kolyevich, who's moved over this side now for Ballester. He's covered probably every blade of grass in this match, Kolyevich as he usually does. Nathaniel Napla receiving the ball from Zulkipli Karayoho. Napla will fancy himself, himself for a shot again, but he's uh, been dispossessed by Evi Karagos. He was lining himself up for a shot. Nathaniel Napla, but just took his eye off the ball for a second and that was enough for Ragos to dispossess him. Yes, yes. Yeah. Just trying to keep the ball in the Ballester half. Bella McCryan crossing the ball in. And Abdul Malik had to put that one uh, out for a corner. It seemed to be going out for a moment or two, but it sort of swung in and Abdul Malik just had to push the ball over. But the referee has gone to the corner flag and he has given the corner eventually so Abdul Malik doing well great work from Velimir Kryan there he's run the clock down by virtually a minute he's taken the ball out there held on to it and managed to force a, a corner kick superb effort Said Salim challenging got a lot of height to his jump but uh, unable to connect with the ball Steven Chan to Davo Mioc Mioc out to Raguz good ball for Mioc once again Raguz will try and torment Abdul Wafi. The cross in towards Said Salim. Abdul Malik came. And Abdul Malik, uh, over the last 10 15 minutes or so, has not looked too comfortable in goal for Ballester. He came for that ball, and that should have been his, but he didn't get it. There's a certain uncertainty in, uh, in Abdul Malik's play that we didn't see earlier in the match, uh, which won't be helping his defence out at all. Ali Nasrun down the line to Abdullah No. Abdullah into Zulkifli Karayoho. Zulkifli out to Nathaniel Napla. A lot stemming from Napla now. He's taken on a more important role in the second half. And Napla wins the free kick. Which Zulkifli Karayoho will want to take quickly, but Abdul Wafi is still down. And the noise in the stadium gets louder as the Ballester fans rally behind their team to try and get them forward in search of the equaliser. It's headed out by Imran Mohammed. Said Salim will pick up on the ball and just hold on to the ball if he, if he knows that's the best thing to do. But he wasn't able to do it. Manab Hamad cutting him off. Good ball from Manab to Kolyevic. Kolyevic battles on, takes the shot. Oh, well, the fans in front of the commentary position up on their feet, thinking that ball had gone in, but it's the side netting instead. Great opportunity for Marko Kolyevic to get the third goal and 
Club Ballester level, as we see from the slow motion replay here. He's really a battler in perseverance and determination, enabling him to get the shot in finally. Unfortunately, it's the side netting. But for a moment, the SAF fans uh, must have had their hearts in their mouths. Not too sure who they're supporting, but they seem a happy bunch. So it might be the SAF fans we're looking at. But they're all sitting together, the Ballester and SAF fans. It's a, it's a good atmosphere, friendly atmosphere, and the match has been played in good spirit too. Well, it looks like Azaluddin Kamis, who was not uh, named as a starter in this match. Robin Chan preferring Siva Kuma for a stronger defense. Well, finally Azaluddin will be coming on. And we're told that Abdul Wafi will be coming off. Well, we'll just wait for the substitution to be made for confirmation. Abdul Malik having to come in punch. He had to punch with the, uh, be very sure with the punch because Said Salim went in very well into the challenge. Bella McRyan to Stephen Chan. Stephen Chan being dispossessed by Abdullah Noor. And it's a good ball from Abdullah Noor. Kralievich unable to hold on to Ezingli now to Bella McRyan, who was asking for it in, fan in fairness to Effendi. Davo Mioc. One and a half minutes of normal time playing left. Not normal playing time left, I beg your pardon. It's Zulkifni Jumadi on the ball for the Warriors. They want to take it into the corner or wide and get the crosses in like he's done now towards Said Salim. Siva Kuma had to be sure with the header on that occasion. Again, it's Boguchanin. Boguchanin out to Azaludin. Azaludin will try and put down one of his runs down the right. Instead, he plays it towards Kralievic. Kralievic controlling. Ah, oh, he gets a second bite of the cherry. It's Kralievic, the Ballester fans urging him on. A chance for 3 0. Oh, well, he plays the ball back now. And it's Azaludin Kamis who puts the ball over, but that was an excellent opportunity for Kralievic to take a shot. But perhaps uh, he felt that he was pushed a little too wide, back healing the ball as we can see now from the slow motion replay. Just back healing it to Azaludin. He was aware Azaludin was behind him and Azaludin getting the shot in. But it's taken a slight deflection, so Ballester have the chance now to pile on more pressure. We're into the final minute of play as the corner comes in. Napla challenges. And the SCF will just boot that ball away now into the Ballester half. Boguchanin will give chase. He wants to take this throw in quickly. And Siva Kuma and Hazali Nasaron have come to receive the ball. They don't want to delay any further. Kolevich has remained forward. He's in a slightly offside position now. It doesn't matter because Ballester are still in their own half. Siva Kuma will play the long ball surely. But it's too much into the middle and towards Harry Swap who gets the comfortable header and these are tense moments surely for both sides but in particular for the SEF who are hanging on now to the slender 1-0 lead it's 3-2 and we are now into time added on not much time which the referee will add on surely as we look at Azaludin Kamis Azaludin trying to get past Ivica Raguz it's Nathaniel Napla Napla to get the ball in via the cross but he's got to get past Stephen Chan first Finally, the cross comes in towards Manab Hamad, who's remained forward. Chipped in towards Goran Palic. Hazali Nasiran onto his right foot, takes the shot, is blocked away by Harry Swap. Nathaniel Napla, these are exciting moments here at the Topayo Stadium in the final stages. Into injury time already. Zulkifli Kadoyo picks up on the ball. He pumps it in towards Kralievich and Palic once again. It's too high for everybody. And finally, it's Visa Varaj in defense for the SAF. But it's Vika Raguz now against Litvo Boguchanin. Raguz, who has just ran out of steam. And he's brought down. It's going to be a free kick for Ballester. Well, as football, it's totally deteriorated. But as a drama, it's fantastic at the moment. The Warriors, some final comments from you, Jamie Reeves. Well, a great advert for the league. Stel Varaj there, one of the goal scorers. Tremendous performance this evening. Uh, exciting end-to-end. Could have gone either way. Just what you want from a football match. Good crowd. On Premier 12 when that happens. So from Gareth Nickley and on behalf of my co-commentator Jamie Reeves and all the crew here at the Topayo Stadium, I wish one and all a very good evening and asking everybody to support the Singapore side in the Tiger Cup coming on on the 1st of September.